<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Dang and Rampa V3 Killing Harmony. Last time we left off, we finished up all the investigation we can do, and to prove that we have everything figured out, we're holding one final class trial, and if we don't prove who's the mastermind, what's going on, that we're all held responsible and we're done. But, I guess Shuichi and everyone else, like, you know, we're sure about this. We can do this. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the final trial in the game. I assume so, anyway. And, uh, it's going to be a hell of a time. I, I assume so. Every other game, a bunch of things were revealed and uh, lots of twists and turns. I can only assume the same thing here, so... If you haven't already, please go over your your uh, evidence. Like I, I just did so before starting this recording session. If you have any skills you'd like to put on, do so as well. I'm sticking with what I got because it's nice to have things. I know I could have gone to the casino and gotten more skills. Probably would have been more beneficial, but I'm happy with this. I think I'm going to be fine. And um, I think we should get started. I'm excited, um, but let's see how things go. I'd like to begin by asking Shuichi a question. Since this class trial was his idea, what exactly is the point of this class trial? Yeah! Why are we having a class trial if no one died? Whoa! My voice was way louder than I expected. I might be on a roll today. Hey! I'm no slouch of being a loud mouth either! Me too. Monadam's voice is super soft, though. Everyone cool with him getting blown up? You said that the killing game would end if you exposed the truth at the class trial. So, you bastards, what is the purpose of this class trial? Oh, that's a good question. But his voice was quiet. Does Lars for him not matter at all? The purpose of this class trial. All right, I'll give you an answer. The reason I called for this trial is... Um... Excuse me? I guess to stop the fight in a sense, but... Not to continue the killing game, not to retry a past case, I don't think so, so... I guess order of elimination? Oops. Oh, damn, right- this is- this is not good, right off the bat, I'm already freaking... <laughs> confused, because I- I didn't like any of those answers. It's like... Okay... I, I don't think any of that really... Uh, whatever. No, that's not the problem. I uncovered a lot of evidence investigating the Academy. Say something already! I was wrong! Oh, uh, right off the bat. So wait a minute, what else we got here? So we're not gonna continue to kill the game, that's stupid, but... I guess we try a past case, but which case of the hell are they talking about, though? That's it. All right, let's see what's here. I wish to retry a past case. A retrial? For which case? The first one, the murder of Rantaro Amami. I've found new evidence relevant to the case. In light of that evidence, I demand a retrial. What's the point of a retrial? The result of the first class trial has already been settled! Yeah, yeah! What if our vote was wrong? Yes, wrong! When Akuma said the blackened for that incident was Kaede. Are you saying he was wrong? Whoa, 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 what? Mono Ken, your reactions are too extreme! It's making the rest of us look bad. Oh, 
shit! He's already got the detonator! To test the validity of our vote, we're going to retry the entire case. If Monokuma was wrong, the validity of these trials would be in question. The entire killing game wouldn't make sense anymore. I see. You think you can destroy the game by calling out my failure as the Game Master! You shouldn't have a problem with this if you have nothing to hide, Monokuma. <laughs> so in the end, the first case has become the focal point yet again! What a twist! What an interesting twist! Okay, let's do this! So what is this new truth? There are several. But before we go any further, I want to discuss Rantaro's talent. Did you learn what his talent was? Rantaro's ultimate talent was a mystery, but now I know. He was the ultimate <laughs> survivor. Like, the, the ultimate victim, mastermind, and quiz master. Quiz master would sound kind of cool, but I think he'll just be like Riddler or something. But no, he's the ultimate survivor. Because apparently, he survived another killing game before this one. That's it! He was the ultimate survivor. Ultimate survivor? I saw it too. He said so in his video. Yep, it's like, not my first killing game, and you got picked to play because you're the ultimate survivor. And it's like, okay. Oh, the whole survivor perk as well. Rantaro became the ultimate survivor after surviving a past killing game. After his memory was wiped, he participated in the killing game once again. So this wasn't Rantaro's first killing game? Why did he participate in a second killing game? I'm not sure yet. But after I learned that Rantaro was the ultimate survivor, I deduced his objective. Rantaro's objective? The reason he went to the library before he was killed, and why he knew about the hidden door. Didn't he just happen to randomly notice the hidden door? That's what I thought at the time, but it appears that assumption was false. There was an actual reason Rantaro knew about the door. Yes, that reason is. And that would be the survivor perk, because it lists... Um the map of the entire academy besides the trail from the hidden room to the girls bathroom I believe That's it Rantaro was given this monopad as a kind of survivor perk It has a map of the entire academy including areas that have not yet been unlocked Of course, that includes the hidden room. To think Rantara was given that as a survivor perk. He found out about the hidden room with this map? The monopad also contained a video Rantara recorded for himself. If the Mastermind ever needed a spare Monokuma, they would head to the Hidden Room. The message was what inspired him to go to the library, to investigate the Hidden Room. Hmm. Well, was this the first, uh... Oh yeah, this was the first motive. Like, there's a time limit and... Uh oh, something doesn't happen, we're all screwed! You know, I, I thought they were gonna use that more often, because it's like... I kind of, even though it was kind of like, you know, um, stress-inducing, like that song and music they played when the time was running out, I'm like, oh, what's going to happen? Oh, man. The Mastermind would have gone to that room to mass-produce Monokuma once time ran out. So, in order to figure out who the Mastermind was, Rantaro went to the hidden room at the back of the library just before time ran out. That's right. Rantaro must have come to the same conclusion that Kaede and I did. Sure is ironic that the ultimate survivor died because of Kaede's trap. 
But if Rantaro had a clue like that, why didn't he come to us with it? I assume because he didn't trust us. The killing game had just started, after all. What he said in his video message certainly didn't help, either. He told himself to only share this information with people he could trust. He didn't have any recollection of filming this message, right? That means he must have had trouble believing it as well. It was probably confusing to him, too. That's why he didn't consult us. You know, think about it. If any one of us were in Rantaro's situation, like ourselves, we would not want to trust anyone either. We couldn't. It would be near impossible to, because it's like, your memories are gone, you're told you're in this killing game that you have to kill these other people until only two people are left. Would you want to tell anybody an advantage over anything else? Most likely not. But, you know. Look what happened! I think it's, yeah, um... Okay, couldn't remember his own talent, and I think it's also where he brought up the ultimate hunt. he could trust that video, or trust us, or even trust himself. He must have been so lost. But with the time limit approaching, he decided to take a chance. If you, I mean, if you have a, uh... If you have a chance, to, I guess you take it. Especially, like, in this killing game scenario. I don't want to say, like, you know, what's the worst that can happen. Because death. But when you really don't have much else to lose, then I guess a lot of things kind of go out the window. God, it feels like... It was a long time since I did this, right? It was like a year ago. So he went to the library alone, without telling anyone. And then he got killed by Kaede's trap. The only people who knew about the hidden door at that time were Rantaro and I. I had Kaede with me, and I thought I could trust her. So I told her about the hidden room. That was the difference between me and Rantaro, I suppose. I had Kaede. And Kaede's the one who killed him! What a snake! Hey, so, what are you guys talking about? Is this something I forgot? I don't know anything about what they're saying. Is this something that transpired before we were born? So what's your point? You know who Rantaro was and why he did what he did. But it's pointless now, isn't it? No, it's not pointless. Now that we know this new information, if we look back at Rantaro's case, we can find a new truth that we missed at the time. A new truth? I don't really get it, but we just need to look at Rantaro's case again, right? Then let's do it. Yes, let's do this together. My vast magical powers, I'll turn Monokuma into an omnibus. I don't really get that either, but I guess we're gonna republish Monokuma. I'm not too sure either, but the real battle is just beginning. We'll prove that the result was wrong, and corner the mastermind together. Yeah, this is gonna be very interesting, but we'll see what we can do. Um, the hell are they gonna give me here, though? Rentaro went to the library. Just before Monokuma's timeline expired. Using the information provided by the survivor group, he made his way to the hidden door. To expose the identity of the mastermind. But before he could achieve that goal, he got hit in the head with a shot football and died. Because of Kaede's fully automatic killing machine! Huh? Fully automatic? There was no culprit at the scene. The only one in the library at the time of the murder was Rantaro himself! That's a fact, right? 
The camera went off just before the incident. And only Rantara was in the picture. Man, I, I really don't know that. I mean, out of the evidence that they gave me, from what I reviewed, and from those statements, I don't think we can lie either. Or maybe we could, or maybe we say no, maybe there was somebody else there, because look at the... I think it's, it's all going to come down to this whole thing regarding Kaede's twin. She had a younger twin sister, apparently, according to that participant list. And we can assume that maybe her younger twin sister was there. Maybe she's a mastermind or something. I don't know. Rantara was the only one at the scene. That's what we concluded at the first trial. But was it really true? Rantara went to the so yeah, we're, we're going to try this go for a uh, participation participant list. <laughs> uh, where he says that Rantara was the only one there. I'm not sure where we're going to go with this or how he's going to go with his line of questioning there, but we'll find out. Hold on. Yeah, see, that wasn't right. Shoot. Okay, hold on. Oh! Kaede activated her fully automatic killing machine from the classroom, right? If someone had been there, they would have witnessed the murder! You need a more serious argument than that to keep things exciting. I was wrong! I made a mistake. I need to think it over. So... We lie, I guess? Man. I don't know. I really don't know. Unless I, unless I picked something wrong Lantara here. What, what else do we got? Just before Monokuma's time limit expired. Using the information provided by the survivor perk, he made his Wait, way sir, to hold on. What, what else does it say about the perk? Was hiding somewhere in the academy. Rest chance is to need a spare. Do you think maybe he knew that they have the this information that they're hiding somewhere in the academy, and the the thing where they if they need a spare, they're gonna go to a hidden room. Maybe that's where we we use that statement instead. I may be jumping the gun. I think I think my line of questioning or my line of logic with the twin sister might be way too early. So let's try the survivor's perk at the same thing here. Okay, there we go. I have a feeling I'm gonna get really turned around and lose a lot of health here. No, Rantaro was not the only one in the library at the time the murder occurred. This survivor perk monopad is proof of that. Why would that monopad be evidence? The monopad was given exclusively to Rantaro as his survivor perk, correct? But when we searched Rantaro's body, he didn't have it on his person. He only had his student handbook monopad. Which means that someone took this monopad from Rantaro after the murder. That's very wrong! what we've been saying what uh, keep quiet will you i don't have time for your nonsense right now really i have no clue what anyone is talking about if we don't chime in soon pops is gonna push the detonator then we better not let these fucking chumps run their maps anymore okay that that logic sounds correct where he wasn't it wasn't with him i don't know why i thought that if, I don't know, I'm confused. Never mind. A bloody monopad is disgusting. You should wash it right away. That's not a real rebuttal. Someone stole the survivor perk monopad. Where's the proof? No way, there's a bloody thief. But remember, Rantaro brought the survivor perk monopad to the library. If it's missing now. That must mean someone stole it. He brought that monopad to the library? I think there's maybe no way that's possible. All he had on him was the student handbook monopad. 
He didn't bring the survivor perk with him. You cannot assert it was stolen. Yep, yep, that's right. The whole the argument is clear. I'll counter it right now. He brought that Saying he didn't bring it with him? So, well, the picture has him... Yeah, that's not his student pad right there. That's his survivor perk pad. Okay. Because that's what we were assuming, because we never knew the thing even existed. Okay. There we go. No, there is no doubt Rantaro brought the Survivor Perk Monopad to the library. The picture taken just before he died clearly shows him holding it. That could be his student handbook monopad, bro! You fucking know! No, it was definitely this same monopad. You see the way the blood is dried here? The outline of his fingers matches how he was holding it in the picture. Oh, you're right! Shortly after this photo was taken, Rantaro was struck in the head by the shot put ball. Do you think that's when this bloody outline on the monopad was formed? I do. That's why the monopad Rantaro is holding in this picture. It has to be the same monopad we have now. What? Come on, no overreacting! It makes us look like we're not paying attention! Scream all you want! Monoske's the one that's gonna get blown up! I was so upset my cute cubs lost that my finger slipped! But those were some pretty fireworks! Even in death, my kid's a real cutie! I hear lions push their cubs into bottomless ravines to kill them. They don't kill them. So there was a thief, huh? I can't believe someone would do something so evil! So who took the monopad? Do you know anything else? Well, I'm not surprised that Monokid, or I'm assuming even the other Monokubs will be destroyed. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be in order, too, so now it was Monokid, and I'm sure the next one is going to be Manasuke. Uh, you just take it from there. <laughs> Jeez. You know, that's a... That's a I can't believe I, I didn't notice the whole thing regarding the outline of the blood on the survivor perk. I... Would not have noticed that unless the game brought it up, I guess. Man. Do we know anything about the person who took Rantaro's monopad? Yes, I think we do. Let me get the facts straight and think. Okay, I'll do this. Got four phases. And I believe we have that perk that allows me to get more letter cubes. Or, like, more letters from a letter cube, so... It shouldn't go... Super, super long. That's if I can drive straight. <laughs> but... I like I like these minigames. I say it over and over again, but I enjoy this stuff. Ooh. I mean, part of me is, like, a little sad that... We're coming to the end of the game. Um... Especially, like, when I had to take that, like... Essentially, year hiatus with this game because everything I had going on and it's like, oh, am I, am I, am I going to be able to get back into this just fine? And sure enough. So how many monopads does Rintaro have in the library? That would be two. His own and uh, the survivor perk. Please? Okay. See, I'm smart. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like ever since I picked this game back up back in like July of 2018? Uh, it's going rather smoothly. Um, I'm gonna miss all these. Um, you know, on and off recording for like the past like two months or so. Like right now, it's like the end of August. So, yeah, by the time this video goes up, it'll probably be like October or November. But, you know, I've been putting a video a day. Um, just so I can have a video for you guys to watch every single day. 
Which mod, mod pal is taken away? That would be his survivor per perk one. What E handbook mod pad? <laughs> um. So yeah. Um. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, and this recording session, by the way, is like when this video goes up. This is the first recording session I'm having, where the videos have been. Uh back on YouTube. I, I've been re, I've been uploading again on YouTube with uh, the V3 series and Vulture and Spare Girls, which has been done for like a year or so, but yeah. Where was that monopad taken to? That would be the hidden room, right? We would assume so, considering that's where we fo found a survivor perk. Uh, there we go. So yeah, um... And, like, it's cool seeing, like, a lot of people were excited to see his game back. They are excited to see the videos. Um, and giving hints and tips, which is, like, okay, but... It's, like, you know, a lot of it has been... I mean, I've, I've already... I'm recorded up to this far already, you know? Um, but mainly just so I can have a backlog for you guys. Because I didn't... I don't want to have the same situation where... Something comes up in my life and... I don't have anything to give you guys. I mean, granted, you know, my life is... comes first, you know? Like, this stuff, because it's not my job, because it's not my primary focus in life, this always takes a back seat. You know, but I've been doing it for so long that I, I, I still want to continue doing it, you know? Who can enter the hidden room? Uh, well, the mastermind, I would assume, right? Who else is going to give me? Well, the mastermind. And whoever had the key. Alright, well, that was easy enough. Woo! The one who took that monopath is the mastermind. I'm sure of it. The mastermind? The survivor perk monopath was found in the library's hidden room. And only the mastermind would have been able to enter that room, correct? Between the time Rantaro died and when we found him, they put that monopad in the hidden room? No! Nope, that's impossible! Impossible? Why? Huh? You don't know? Why, even my cute little cubs have already figured it out! Huh? We have? Yeah, so... I'll let Monotaro explain. Huh? I've already forgotten what we're even talking about. Oh, crap! He's gonna push it! It's gonna be Monokin all over again! The Mastermind is not in any of the photos taken in the library. Why is that? Huh? Oh, that's true. In order to get to the hidden room, you need to move the bookcase, right? But Shuichi and Kaede set up those hidden cameras, so... If the Mastermind was using that door, they would have been caught on camera. But none of the pictures showed anyone like that. Then, that reasoning is wrong. Amazing, Monodum! Well done! Hold on. The hidden cameras in the library had interval timers. Oh, crap. I totally forgot about that. 30 seconds. I forgot why she said they were like that. Maybe just how they were, period. There's nothing she could do about it. Oh, because they have the aura roll. There you go. Perhaps the mastermind worked within that 30-second interval? I see. So the mastermind hid in the hidden room, waited for the right timing... Grab the monopad from the library, and then return to the hidden room. Hold on! There's a flaw in your logic. What? What flaw? Huh? Don't ask me! The mono cubs are gonna explain it! What? Again? Reject your logic without explaining why! That's the Monokuma debate style! Take it from here, mono cubs! And you better use your brains or I'll kill ya! Oh boy! Oh man. You know what? Let's. 
I still like doing half-hour videos, so let's just keep let's just focus on that. How? What is that? What is that flaw in the logic that Himiko apparently has? Um, but it's a good point. Why did it not? Sh why did the Master Brand not show up in any of the pictures? Did they work with a 30-second interval uh, in the f of those photos? Let's find out in the next episode, huh? So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time for Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.